come to my show. You know, I always have stories to tell you. And, um, yeah, I know you love watching my, my videos and I know you love listening to my stories. So this is why I continue doing those videos. Um, I know I haven't done a video for a while because I am very busy and as everybody know, I am Shane. You know, I am not Chris Henry. I am Shane and sometimes it takes me a while to do these videos. Anyway, let me talk about something that I think everybody needs to understand or need to know about. You know, when I was young, you know, when I was in my early 20s, I didn't know anything. I was just an innocent little kid. And I flew to America and I met so many people. You know, I met, you know, I had so many women. I didn't know what to do with them. I was turning them down. And again, I was a young kid. I didn't know anything about life. But there was one particular woman I met, which I thought she was absolutely beautiful. You know, she, we went out for dinner and then um, she invited me over to her house and I said, okay. And I went to her house and, um, well, what can I say? Well, we were talking and then we were drinking wine. And I had maybe four glasses of wine. And uh, I think she probably had a bottle before she met me. But anyway, that's not, the, that's not important. So, I was sitting with this woman on this couch. And then she was saying to me something. I had no idea what she was talking about. She said to me, do you want to 69? I said to her, excuse me, miss, what do you mean, do I want to 69? She said, have you ever 69 before? I said to her, excuse me, but I have no idea what you're talking about. What is 69 and what do you do when you are 69 in? She said to me, okay, let's go. I'm going to show you how to 69. And she grabbed my hand and she led me to her bedroom. Well, you know, I kind of stood there thinking, what is she doing? And she said to me, I am going to show you how to 69. I mean... I had no idea what she was talking about. But anyway, I was drunk and I said to myself, what can she do? What is 69? Well, anyway, she started getting undressed and then, you know, I said to myself, okay, if she's getting undressed, might as well get undressed too. We both got undressed and I decided to keep my underwear on. I have no idea what this woman is trying to do. I mean, I was a young kid. She was probably in her 30s, 40s, who know? But I decided to keep my underwear on. So she said to me, get on the bed. And I'm like, um, what am I supposed to do? She said, just lie on the bed. So I got myself on the bed and I'm just lying there thinking, what is she going to do next? And before I know it, this woman turned over. And I'm like, what are you doing? She said to me, we're going to 69. I said, okay, what am I supposed to do? She said, just lie down there and I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you what I mean. This woman, I mean, she lifted her leg on my face and before I know it, her toes were sticking in my mouth and I said, excuse me, miss, what the hell is going on? What is this 69? But anyway, 
I had no idea what to do. I was just lying there thinking to myself, what is she going to do next? And before I knew it, she was... Okay, that's it. You know, I've been doing these shows for a long time now, and I am actually sick and tired of you people sitting there listening to these provocative stories that I have to tell. You know... I know you people know exactly what the word 69 means. Um, hello, you two. Hey, um, yes, you couple. I don't know if you're married or whatever, but let me ask you a question. Do you guys have a 69? And what do you do? I mean, who gets on top of who? Is it your husband? Is it your wife? Or is it your office manager? Listen, missus, I know you know exactly how to 69. But guess what? I don't care what you do in your private life, but this is absolutely perverted. I don't believe that you people are practicing 69. You know, I come from a family that is so religious. All my family are Christians and Catholics, and none of us know what the word 69 mean. So, I mean, you Americans, you guys are so perverted. I couldn't believe what this woman was trying to do to me. I mean, she put her legs over my face, and before I know it, I couldn't breathe. And I'm saying to her, what am I supposed to do? And before I knew it, she was... Okay, I'm not going to tell you what she was doing, because, you know, it's very, very perverted. And I mean, honestly... I, I, I really didn't know what the word 69 meant until I came to America. And this woman, what she was doing to me was totally disgusting. I am British, and we British people, we don't do these type of things. How disgusting. Where did the word 69 came from? And how did you people know how to 69? Uh, sir, hey you, I've told you before, do not come on my show. Have you 69 before, sir? And who did you 69 with? Did you 69 with your, your wife? Did you 69 with a man? Or did you 69 with the woman next door? You dirty old man, stop playing with your banana. I've told you before, leave your banana alone. Oh my gosh, you people make me sick. 69. <laughs> well, okay, I'm going to forget about this 69 thing. I mean, let me tell you people why marriages don't work. You know, I was married before and, you know, um, I mean, you know, being married is such a difficult thing, especially, well, especially if you keep seeing the same punani every single day, 24 hours a week, 7 days a week. You know, listen, you women. I noticed one thing about you women. Why do you always leave the bathroom door open when you're using it? And what do you mean you're going to powder your flipping nose? I mean, every time I go to the washroom, it smells like peaches. And when you women leave the bathroom, 
What happened to the smell? It doesn't smell like peaches. So listen, if you want me to 69, you better make sure that that bathroom smells like peaches when you get out of it. Oh my God, and you, sir. I mean, let me tell you something. You know why your wife is really upset with you? Because every time you go to the washroom, you do not pull up the toilet seat. I remember one day I went to a friend of mine and you know, he and his wife, they invite me for dinner and I wanted to use the restroom and I went in the restroom and it was full of piss. And I'm saying to myself, you disgusting people. Can't you at least clean the bathroom before I could use it? I'm supposed to be a VIP at your house and I'm seeing piss around the toilet. Oh my God. And women, another thing. You know, I mean, I know that a lot of you women don't like to suck bananas. I mean, listen, I mean bananas, okay? I do not mean what you're thinking. You people have dirty mind. Bananas. Okay, let me finish. Don't you realize that a lot of dudes, a lot of guys, a lot of fellas, they like to get their bananas sucked. I mean, they banana, the ones that they buy in the grocery stores. Again, stop, stop thinking really bad about me. I am not talking about what you're thinking about. But let me tell you something. A lot of guys, they love the bananas being sucked. I mean, if you're tired of sucking your husband's banana, why don't you put whipped cream over it? Or why don't you put chocolate or caramel? I guarantee you, you will love it if you did that. And, um, okay, stop it. I'm tired of you people. You people are just disgusting. I'm talking about bananas and whipped cream and chocolate, for God's sake. Can you stop it? Anyway, um, missus, you know, I know you have two big watermelons, but, you know, your husband is tired of eating vanilla ice cream. Why don't you put caramel over it and whipped cream or chocolate and banana or something? Why do you always have to serve him plain vanilla ice cream on your watermelons? Come on, women. You know, we like surprises. You know, we hate just eating. I mean, sucking. Just, I mean, eating. I mean, sucking. I mean, eating um, ice cream. You know, I'm trying to be very conservative here because I know a lot of you people are very perverted. So I'm trying my very best not to be disgusting. But I know a lot of you people are just disgusting. But anyway, ladies, listen to me. If you want to keep your husband, the first thing you should do is Number one, go and buy some bananas and put some chocolate and whipped cream over it and suck it. He would love it. And you guys, if you want to please your wife, tell her, listen, you're tired of vanilla ice cream. Tell her you want some caramel and chocolate over it. And then make sure you lick it. All of it. Okay? That's how, and you know what, listen, dudes, gentlemen, when you go in the washroom, make sure you lift the bloody toilet. I am tired of going to you people's homes and I have to clean piss over the toilet seats. Come on, guys, this is disgusting. Anyway, you know, Oh, uh, what am I doing? You know, I mean, where's my drink? I'm sorry. I am Shane. And, you know, I try not to kind of say anything really bad. But, you know, um, hey, you. Hey, you couple, listen to me. 
You two, yes, you. Stop looking around. I know you can see me because you're looking at me. You know, I am not stupid. You know, do you two, do you guys have a 69? And who, I mean, do you like 69 of your partner? I'm sure you do. I can see. Listen, Mrs. I'm looking at your face right now. And I know tonight you're going to ask your boyfriend or your husband to 69 because you are totally disgusting. I have no idea what 69 is. And guess what? I'm never going to do it because I think it's totally disgusting. And I've had enough. You people are sitting there laughing at me because I have no idea what you people do when you close the bedroom door. Especially if you're with your office manager. That's it. I'm tired of you people.
my show I know you a lot of you guys thought that I have again you guys keep thinking I gave up I'm never gonna give up with my show because I really love doing it I know you love doing it and I know I'm sorry I know you love seeing my shows I hope I make you laugh and um, I hope that you know whatever you do in your life whoever you're with I hope you're happy with them because at the end of the day your happiness is what counts. Remember, I don't care who you are, but make sure you're happy, make sure you love yourself, and make sure you love your partner. And you know, make it exciting for your partner once in a while because they would love you as they already, they already love you, but show them a little excitement once in a while. That's it. I've had enough of you people. <laughs> My next one is coming up, so don't think that I have given up. My name is Shane. Thank you for watching my videos. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>